Hey everyone, Jesse Rothacker here, and I'm joined by Colin from Colin's Crazy Creatures. He's one of our volunteers today, and we're gonna be mulching the Turtle Garden. Come check it out. The Turtle Garden at Forgotten Friend Reptile Sanctuary is one of our favorite parts of our property. It's over 700 square feet of sun and shade, land areas, water features, both wetland pond and freshwater ponds for different species, for different habitats. And we like to add a couple inches of premium mulch. So we're gonna show you some of the features in our turtle garden, and hopefully this will help show you how you can easily build your own turtle garden. So you can see we started with about 12 scoops of this premium mulch. That's probably a lot more than you're going to need. There are different mulches you can use, but make sure to avoid any mulches with artificial colors, like blacks or reds or even artificial browns. From the bird's eye view, you can see our outdoor bearded dragon cage on the left of the deck, and that kiddie pool on the right will come in handy when we need to feed the box turtles. Our volunteers are paying special attention to make sure the mulch goes all the way under the plants. You can see our big raspberry bush that's kind of taking over, which provides both food and shade, and they're using buckets to get the mulch all the way down under things like the hostas, which is important because you'll see turtles love to hide in shelter under the hostas, and giving them a couple inches of mulch and shade helps them stay cool on the hottest days, and it helps them stay warm on the coolest nights. On this side of the garden, we have our water features. You can see the bottom pond is more like wetland habitat, and in fact, there are some wetland plants already sprouting up right out of it. The top two ponds are more like freshwater lakes. We filter the ponds with floating plants called water hyacinths. The water hyacinths actually feed on the turtle waste, and so the turtle waste makes the plants get stronger and the plants make the water get cleaner. It's starting to look pretty good, isn't it? Well, the best test is to see what the box turtles think about it. It's always fun watching the box turtles explore the garden for the first time after we've laid down a couple inches of fresh mulch. You see the turtles love to get under the hostas where they have plenty of shade, plenty of security, and they can dig in as deep as they want since we laid that mulch on really thick. Many of these turtles are almost impossible to find. It can take forever to find all of our box turtles. We make sure the turtles don't escape by adding a 2x4 on top of the 2x6 walls. The flat 2x4 prevents the turtles from being able to climb out. You can never have too many hiding places, so we use lots of half logs and fake rocks and plenty of ferns and other plants for shade. As long as there's lots of sun and lots of shade, the turtles are going to be happy. And of course there's lots of berries. Here are a few strawberry plants, but there are also raspberry plants and blueberry plants we want to make sure we're getting fresh water in our ponds all the time, so we actually have our rain gutter hooked up to our turtle ponds. Every time it rains, they get fresh water. And that keeps our painted turtles and sliders very happy because they're always getting fresh water any time it rains. In fact, the turtles in our garden are pretty comfortable for all kinds of activities. So here is our turtle garden after many hours of hard work from all of our volunteers. Weeding and mulching, getting everything together. And after a long day of hard work, of course the turtles have worked up an appetite. So you remember that blue kiddie pool that was up on the deck? It works great for feeding our turtles. If the turtles are eating fruits or vegetables or a processed food, we let them eat right in the garden. But if we're going to be feeding them live bugs like superworms, we like to put them in a container like a kiddie pool and that helps them catch the bugs. The turtles love the activity of finding all the worms and catching all the worms. But the superworms have actually been a very hard bug, a hard food source to find during the COVID pandemic. So first, everyone ran out of toilet paper and then they ran out of gasoline and then it was hard to find lumber and hard to find a million other supplies. Well, superworms have actually been one of the hard supplies to find during the COVID shutdown. In fact, the price of superworms has gone up four or five or six times beyond what it was before COVID. So I hope these guys are enjoying the superworms because we worked really hard to get those. Having a box turtle garden is a really fun way to keep box turtles 
But before you have any pet turtle, please make sure you know what the laws are for pet turtles in your area. We keep several different subspecies of box turtles in our garden. Some of them are illegal to possess if we don't have permits. Other ones don't require any permits at all. Please always keep wildlife in the wild. If you want a pet turtle, make sure to buy a turtle that was hatched in captivity. If you encounter a wild turtle, help it cross the road, take his picture, but please don't take him home. Finally, I want to say a big thank you to all of our volunteers who help with this year's turtle garden maintenance. Our volunteer Sue helped us do hours of weeding before the mulch went on. Viola chased Mushy across the driveway and Kenny followed her. Uh, of course, my wife Kim was out there mulching. Liam, one of our great volunteers, was helping. Uh, Kenny, well, my son, he was actually doing a lot of work, working on his upper body strength. Oh, that's me. Wow, that is a handsome guy. Um, and also, we want to thank Colin from Colin's Crazy Creatures. Check out his YouTube page, Colin's Crazy Creatures. And thanks to his dad, Kyle, for helping that day as well. Leave some comments below. What were your favorite features of the turtle garden? What are some features you would like us to add? Thanks for giving reptiles a chance. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and check us out on Facebook and Instagram, or visit us for more reptile fun at forgottenfriend.org.